Good morning. I've kind of been fooling around this morning and not getting very much done. But I wanted to share one of my projects with you. And you expert daughters, gardeners, I'm not going to like my garden too much, but I welcome your tips because I'm kind of experimenting. I had two boxes. One, it was a plastic full of holes and uh, my trash bags weren't big enough to cover it. And then the other one was a wooden box. It was a little bit smaller, so the plastic bag worked just fine. Now, I want to show you my garden and take in mind I'm a really bad photographer, but that's why some people love me. <laughs> Got to keep the humor here. Okay, here I go. Okay, I can't see what I'm talking about, but right here, this is my reservoir for my water. I hope it's showing well. And then I have these ropes that bring the water to my plants. I, when I do find my new rope, it's somewhere, I misplaced it, I'm going to cut a very long piece and I'm going to just loop it around all over my place. Now when I first started this little garden, my um, celery is just the bottom that I cut off from my celery was over there because the cedar chips were stunning the growth of my plant. But look how strong it is, even though it's stunted. So I, I moved all the dirt to the side, pulled out as many cedar chips as I could, and then I took some very clean, brand new Kotex, and I lined them up all over the bottom because this container will leak water onto what's underneath it. And we can't do that, that'd be a bad thing. So, I was afraid the cedar chips would hurt my worms. So, I did some research and found out that the cedar chips actually protect my worms. It keeps the their predators from eating and killing them. And being if there's no bugs around, I don't have birds in here, but if you were outside, then, then it would keep the bugs, the birds away from eating your worms. So I, I put the Kotex all the way across the bottom. Then I put in my worms and I put in some new dirt. I need to go ahead and put some more dirt in. But it's looking really good. I transplanted these yesterday. And they're looking really, really good. I would like to get some bricks to hold up my light a little higher. Now, if I don't mess up too badly, because this is going to be the last time I do this one, no matter how bad it is. This is my other little garden box. It has, I have a smaller water there. And my cucumber is, is uh, dwarfed. It's slow, but I'm, I'm not happy with this one. But it doesn't matter. It's, I'm just playing anyway. This dirt right here is my worm compost. And later on, I will come in and put new dirt and stir that around. But here, I put some... Uh, gar vegetable scraps here to add to the nutrients and to feed the worms. So it's kind of like my worm box. And uh, I got my eggshells. I think they'd be better if I ground them. The worms could eat them better. So anyway. It's kind of like my new worm compost thing. It's looking good. Next week I'll probably plant something else in it and string my long rope around. So, let's see. If I can move up without making too much of a 
make you sick movement. <laughs> but anyway, I was kind of bored. I well, I wasn't bored today. I was, I was lost. I was just kind of wandering around the house. Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? Do I need to go to church? And I basically talked myself out of going to church because I'll go to church. I'll drink my coffee and I'll listen to that new age music that I don't like. And I like old gospel music. Like, I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. I can't remember the song. I'll sing that to you for another day. But anyway, when I have the lyrics in front of me, my memory sucks. But I, I'm... I wandered around the house, I guess, this morning for a couple of hours, didn't make my coffee, didn't do this, didn't do that. I washed my face to go somewhere, come back, finish washing my face, go there, and then come back, put my cream on, then come back, put my eye stuff in, and then come back and put my essential oils on my... I mean, it's just like, wow, what are you doing? So I said, okay, I'm going to make a video. Now, I don't care how bad it is. <laughs> it's got to be better than this. And, you know, just get myself grounded. Uh, if Jahan's awake, maybe he'll share a video with me. Uh, and we'll have church services together. He's in Texas. I'm here in Florida. And, you know, it, it doesn't matter whether the church is, is a building or it's an internet connection with your family and friends you know just keep faith in the Lord and, and your day it'll, it'll come everything everything is good you know we just have to keep a positive attitude last week was very difficult on me and I was very stressed and it pushed my sugar up and it stayed constantly high, and it affected my eyes, and oh, we don't want anything going on with my eyes. And I need everyone to pray for my eyes, too. I was moving around because it looked like I had got a good color, and then I lost it. But any, anyway, here I am rumbling. I made my point. I don't have anything else really to talk about right now. So I don't need to ramble on. Just keep this short and sweet. I'm not going to talk about any of my oils today. Not on this video anyway. Because you can find that in the description below. And you can also find out the purpose of why I make my videos. Um, I love talking to y'all. And I would like for you to share my videos. I would like for you to like my videos because I'm going to use this as my potential income, hopefully, by uh, introducing people to my oils and, and introducing people to me. And, and uh, hopefully I get monetized by YouTube and then the rest of my senior years will be great. So, enough said. Ramble, ramble. No more rambling. May all your dreams be fulfilled. And may all your hopes. I said that all wrong. Now I got this down pat. See, I'm not having a coherent day. But either way, may all your hopes and dreams fulfilled. And God bless you.